and um and basically coming here like this is me stepping around in Canada is like a, a brand new start for me, man. Like, I, everything I did wrong in the past, it all resets. Like, this, this coming to Canada was like my reset button in life. So now, all the things that I did wrong, I don't have to, like, I don't have that over my shoulder. So now, it's everything got to be legit. Everything's right. Everything's pure. Everybody, all the energy got to be A1. It has to be positive. Nothing more, nothing less. My name is Michael J. Fox. Um, originally from New York City, recently moved here to Moncton, New Brunswick, about seven, eight months ago. Um, what I do, like I work, I work a nine to five like everybody else until my main passion comes into play, um, which is you know being a recording artist. Um, I'm also a professional um, audio engineer. Went to uh, college for two years for it, knocked that down. You know, I'm very, I'm very creative and very passionate about what I do. And I'm also um, willing to work with other artists that enjoys that same passion that I have. Other than that, then that's who I am. The journey it started when I was like 12. Man, I went through a lot of, a lot of issues in life with, you know, with family, you know, um, and music was my only outlet to really, um, to really, um, you know, bring out that, bring out my emotions. Like instead of verbally talking, I put it with a melody and behind the beat and you know explain my story that way. Um, well maybe getting get involved with music who inspired me. I mean New York is the is the home. That's where it originated from in the Bronx, New York. And um, you know music is just it's all around. It's just a, a huge environment. If it ain't Wall Street, if it ain't the stock market, it's music. If it ain't music, you playing basketball. But mainly it's music, you know. The artists that influenced me, man, it, it goes back to like Nas, Jay, um, Biggie, Tupac, and then you got the you got the generation now is like Drake and um, you know Weekend, Party Next Door, and you know A Boogie with the hoodie, you know, and, and it, it goes beyond just hip hop for me. Like I listen to a lot of R and B, like you know Chris Brown, um, you know. God bless the dad, Aaliyah, I loved her. Um, the list goes on, I could, I could keep going all day, but um, that's, that's who I'm following to. <clears throat> oh man, this is gonna be deep. I mean, I, I was um, I, I was homeless, man. I was, I was trying, I was in high school, homeless, trying to finish up school. I end up dropping out and um, I end up doing something crazy, but it, it worked out with me and with as far as like going to college and doing my thing there and getting my degree in, in, um, in music theory, in audio engineering. Um, but yeah, it was a rough road, man, but it, it was just something was just pushing me to just keep going and, and not giving up like during those rough times. You know, like yeah, I was trying to do push-ups and my ribs touching, eating ramen noodles, man. That, that was, it's hard to go to bed like that. It's hard to go to sleep like that. But um. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm just fortunate that I pulled through. Like, I'm not dead, I'm not in jail. I was able to, you know, come here to Canada and, and, and pursue my dream even more. Like, and it's even brighter, man. Like, it's a lot of bright days now. The happiest moments was when, um, you know, I finished school. Like, I, I, I accomplished something that nobody in my family did. Um, that, was, that, was, that was major, man. And then, um, my second thing is um, I went on tour. I was able to open up with um, Wiz Khalifa, um, Cali Swag District, a few other artists. I mean, the messages with my songs it it, it varies. I'm very versatile, and um, and it also goes with the audience. Some audience they love that um, you know the content with structure. Some of the audience love that club music. So I'm I'm fortunate to do both. But mainly, my, my direction is um, is more like uplifting. I, I want to uplift the listener. Like whatever trials and tribulations they're going through, I just want to let them know. Like I've been there, and um, my message to you is that you can you can overcome it. Everybody got bumps in the road. You just gotta weave them. You know, them obstacles can be avoided at the end of the day. Yeah, if I made it, you can make it. That's. Um, if I wasn't a musician right now, I mean. 
I can't say I wouldn't be a musician. If it doesn't work out, I'm gonna continue to do this. I'm gonna reach out to, to artists that, that has that desire, that has that passion. So I would always be involved with music at the end of the day. But you know, whatever, you know, it's, it's hard times right now. Jobs is hard to get. So whatever lands my way, I'm gonna work it to the best of my ability until something greater happens. My favorite subjects to touch on, man. Um, I, w I would love to work with um, Ariana Grande. I would love to work with Drake. I, yeah, obviously, I love to work with Drake. Even though he might, he's gonna demolish me on the track, but um, just saying, yeah, I, I got a song with one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, I, I would love to work with Drake. On um, the weekend, definitely. Um, believe it or not, I, I would love to work with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is on. Um, she she's awesome. I, mean, I, I won't talk about my exes or nothing like she does, but <laughs> I would um I would love to work with Taylor Swift. Um, who else? Um, jeez, I don't know. Anybody that that fills my energy and I feel the like energy, we can work, man. That's that's the journey I want to take as far as collaborations. In five years. My blueprint, uh, I, would, I would do music and get established for about a good year or two, make sure um, I'm financially stable. Then after that, I would, I would definitely want to be like the, the, the P. Diddy of, of Moncton. Like, I, I want to I wanna discover the, the talent, the hidden talent. I want to be the one to bring that, that diamond in the rough out. Like, that's exactly what I want to do. Yeah. Five years, maybe I'd rather do it in three, man. Five years is a little bit too long. <laughs> what can I say about Moncton? Moncton is a hidden gem. Like a lot of people that that's been living out here, they don't really see the potential this that the city has. Like this 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 city can be huge, man. Like it just it just needs the development and, and opportunity and um Moncton is Moncton is it. That Moncton could be the next Toronto. Moncton could be the next Halifax. Moncton could be the next Montreal. It's just 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 needs to get there. And I can see it. I see I definitely see it happening. I'm still <laughs> I'm still trying to discover that. <laughs> My hidden my hidden talents, man, I, I think I could do it all, man. I could, yo, I could cook. I could cook some mean dishes, man. Jerk, like Caribbean food, Italian food, and trust me, I could cook some Asian meals too, man. I'm, I'm really good, man. Like, I, I spend, like, how, what I do, like, I, I watch little cooking shows on Netflix, and um, I just, I don't write no recipes down, I just see it. I just have to look at it and it just goes into my mental Rolodex and I, I'm, I'm cooking it the next day. I'm doing I'm doing everything. But yeah, I, shoot, if a, if a rap don't work, then I might, <laughs> I might just open up some restaurants, man. <laughs> For real. Yeah, my message, my message to the youth that's like, that's following the same road, that, that really wanna do music, man, just, don't don't be discouraged if you mess up. Just keep practicing until you get it. You know, practice make, makes perfect. And um, you know, it's a, it's it doesn't happen overnight, man. The, the success that you that you vision, it takes time, man. Like it, it takes it really takes time. So just don't be don't be discouraged about that. And um, and be original. Don't follow trends. Try to discover your own lane. Once you get in your own lane. Then get and people hear your music. They're gonna be like, yeah, he's different. She's different. That's that's a plus. Other than that, man, just you know, shoot for the stars, man. If you miss, you land on the moon. This is Lily. She's a Yorkie, a Morky. Half Yorkie, half um, Maltese Poodle. She's the most swaggiest dog in Moncton. Yes, she is. Actually, I'm telling you a story about her name, though. Um, I, I recently, I found out um, I, I ended up being a type 1 diabetic and I have to take insulin. So um, I, I didn't have any insulin, so I went to, um, you know, to the hospital to get some. 
So the name of the company happens to be called Lily. That makes the <laughs> that makes the insulin insulin. And um, so that same day I, I went to go get her because um she was just born and I, I couldn't get her right away. So when I went to get her, I couldn't figure out her name. So I opened up the case of insulin and seen the name of the company, and that's how she got her name, Lily. Yeah, spoiled little dog. Go through. Uh, COVID man, COVID. COVID. I can't go to my restaurants. So I can't. I can't. I can't go on dates, man. <laughs> everything. Everything is slow, man. Everything is slow. But there's a positive to to, to COVID. To be honest with you, um, you know the earth is healing. The earth is healing. The ozone layer layer that healed. It, it's not. It's not an issue anymore. The, the air is more fresher. Um, and and personally within myself, like I was able to find more um, things that I'm interested in, like I'm reading more, I'm, I'm more into, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trans transitioning into a Buddhist, so it, I, I'm finding more things about myself, and I, hopefully everybody else is, and um, so it, it was positive and negative to COVID, but hopefully, you know, COVID could, could you know, disappear and, and we can just get back to normal, but the normal won't be the normal that we used to. But other than that, yeah, it's 50-50, it's you know, it's pros and cons to the situation. It's a, it's a touchy situation because, you know, you know, the black, can, the, the, you know, the black race been going through this for like over six, seven hundred years. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's, just, it's just a turning point to where, every, you know, where people are fed up. And it's just not with the black community, it's, 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 it's you know, it's, you know that the, you know the, the Indian community, the Asian community. We all go through you know racism. Like it's all hate all across the board. But like you know, people say all lives matter. It won't matter until Black lives matter. And we like we at the bottom of the barrel. Everybody's living peacefully except for us. This, this is about that time for all of us to 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 be on that same level. Like excuse my language. Fuck hate. Fuck racism. It's whack, and it's, it's time to get rid of it. Like, for real, for real, over, get, get rid of it. That's it, that's it. This right here is for those that say need, not for the snitches, catch cases and just plead. This is for the victims that struggle when thirst cream, heal the open wounds, scars that don't bleed. This is for that youngin' packing that small heat, gotta do what you do to survive and eat. So the soul to the devil, cause the price was cheap. And this is nothing new, it's just life on repeat. Bloods and Crips banging, gang to gang slaying. The youth has a chance to choose their own pavement. School of the streets live life by self judgment. I learned off experience, it's something to experience. I'm living positive, everything is A. Plus. Call crib, good credit, A. Plus. If you see a homie down, go ahead and pick him up. It's not how you fall, it's how you get back up. I'm gone. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at the real Michael J. Fox. That's Fox with two X's. Um, Twitter, you can follow me at uh, Michael J. Fox 914. And you know, iTunes, Spotify is just Michael J. Fox, Fox with two X's. Uh, that's about it. I mean, if you, if you see me in Moncton, man, you run up on me on the streets, hey, I buy, I just get some food, let's get a drink, it's on me. Let's do it, let's make it happen.